Hey guys, Sierra McVeigh here, coming to you from the set of Awkward, joined by Ashley Rickards. How are you? I'm great, and you? I'm good. Thanks for chatting with us. Of course, thanks for being here. So we're here filming the final season of Awkward, which is really sad and really strange yeah. at the same time. So take me back to your very first day on set. Is there maybe a certain memory or favorite moment that you can share with me that maybe something that you know you kind of cherish? There was a scene in the pilot in the bathroom, and that was like the first time that I worked with probably like three marks in one shot. And I was like, uh. Oh. I remember first day just like it was yesterday. Oh. Brett and I had a scene. We were talking about a girl I hooked up with. Or a girl, he, I don't even, maybe I don't remember. <laughs> I thought Molly was really funny, but sometimes she made people cry. <laughs> Doing the lines that I did in the audition and, and then mm -hmm. having them come to life was a really cool moment. First day of filming episode two, mm -hmm. um, I got to wear my cheerleading uniform That's and so it was so fun. Yeah. <laughs> Greer, I was like, Disney princess, Disney princess, Disney princess, Disney princess. <laughs> She's a Disney princess. I can just remember Ashley eating like a giant bagel with a ton of cream cheese in between <laughs> the takes. She's like, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm almost done with this. And I'm like, you're really cutting it close here. We're about to roll. And if you could take one prop home with you on the last day or a piece of clothing, what, what would you take? Well, I've already taken a few things. Uh, uh, what have you taken? <laughs> well, I just want to see if what anyone you... notices. This oh. couch? This couch is very comfortable. <laughs> you know, yes, the it couch? would be this couch. couch. My couch at home sucks. My cross necklace. Oh, Lissa wears a sparkly cross necklace in like every episode and mm -hmm. I love it so much. So I'd probably want to take that That's with me. That's a good one. You guys are such a tight knit cast. Yeah. You guys really do seem like such good <laughs> friends. <laughs> yeah. What's maybe a certain inside joke that you have? Maybe that's from the beginning or oh. an inside joke between you guys that you can share with us. I call Jillian my ice. I don't know if that's an insider <laughs> information, ice. my case of an emergency person. <laughs> Brett and Bo filled Jillian's trailer, her bathroom with balloons. Oh, nice. Um, which was really funny. <laughs> it was like a running joke that like, I don't know my lines all the time. <laughs> yeah. It's like Not clearly true. a joke. If you could go back and play a different character on the show, who would it be? I would play Miss Marks. Oh. Yeah. She's kind of like in her own world, yeah. which I think would be fun. And she's very attractive. She is. So that'd be she's, fun. Molly is Sadie. No one else could so play funny. her. But I think I'd like to try to go back and be able to take a stab at yeah. the, you know, the sass queen. <laughs> Sadie. Oh, yeah. I mean, I love comedy, so just getting to play those comedic characters like mm -hmm. Sadie or, or even Val. Never. Who would you want to play? You wouldn't? Never. Never. Lacey all the way. Lacey all the way. I originally was auditioning for Maddie, and I ended up not getting it. They said, hey, come on back for Jackson, okay. was Jake's original name. And I show up, and of course, then this other guy walks in, <laughs> and he's all like, you know, I'm like got muscles and stuff, yeah. and like I'm really good looking. And <laughs> he says I like gave him the you know the look over, but oh. I didn't. Uh, hey, hey, how you doing? You know, and he's like, yeah, yeah I'm good. I'm yeah, that didn't happen. That. He's a he's a dirty liar. <laughs> if you could sum up the atmosphere on set this season, what, how would you describe it? Well, me personally, pretty bloated. I've been eating my feelings. <laughs> Just gloomy. Yeah. Depressed. Aww. Lots of crying. Dramatic. Uh, everyone's on the edge of their seat. Oh, man. People just like holding each other Aww. and um, like, you know, shirtless. Shirtless? Wait. Wh Wait, what? You know, we're all like, just excited to be back for another season. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, then at the mention of anything final, yeah. it's it's sad. It's just really and truly a family, and it, I've been in the business a long time, and it, you don't always get this. We know that it's coming to an end soon. Yeah. I don't think it it's really hit yet. Well, what are you going to miss most of when filming is done? What are you going to miss most about coming to set every day? The people, yeah, hands down. Being on set and the atmosphere and walking around, even at, the, even at my leggings. Someone telling some ridiculous story about how they peed their pants the night before. <laughs> like that. That's the stuff I'm gonna It doesn't miss. get much better than it that. It really doesn't, <laughs> and it happens. I won't reveal who, but it happens. Oh, that's a secret. Yeah. I would like to know what kind of hints can you give us about what's gonna happen? Yeah. What's gonna go mm -hmm. down? Give us, little, give us a little inside scoop. They're doing some great storylines, and um, it's as funny as it is, it's also gonna be really emotional. We all get to see how the characters have grown and, and who they end up with and where they go to college. There will be characters returning that you guys haven't seen in a very long time. Mm -hmm. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, and that's all I'm gonna tell that's you. That's all she's got. <laughs> just, well, you know, we are awkward, so there's a love triangle. Jake and, and Jenna backdoor of her bedroom scene. Oh. This season. For tomorrow, she got engaged 
in the last episode of the yeah. last season. So we'll get to see what happens with that and yeah. just how far she can take that journey. Sadie and Sergio, you yeah. know, there's going to be a lot of stuff there. And, and um, that's exciting to me because we get to see that relationship develop. And I always love to see how Sadie handles boys. Jake has to deal with um, how he maneuvers the Maddie and Gabby uh, situation because yeah. of what happened in Mexico and yeah. what took place down there. Of course, you know, with Maddie and Jenna, the constant, mm -hmm. are they going to be back together? Is Maddie going to tell her how yeah. he feels? More Maddie and Jenna stuff. Like, mm -hmm. I don't I don't know if it's over, you guys. I'm just <laughs> not sure. A lot of the audience will watch because they want to see what happens with Maddie and Jenna and they're yeah. rooting for Maddie and Jenna. So we always have that will they, won't they. For me personally, I really want Maddie and Jenna to get back together. There's the end of an era, mm -hmm. and we see the finish line coming ahead. It'll be really interesting after all the history that they've been through and their current situations to see like, like how or if, or do they even want to make the same mistakes, Yeah, potentially for a great reward. Is over. Blackout party at the beach, bitches. You're legit popular. Oh, Maddie fing McKibben. You have to tell her. I still want to be with you. You still want to be with me? You can make my heart skip. Aren't they so much fun? Okay, guys, so thank you so much for hanging out with me all day on the set of Awkward. I had such a blast. But I want to know, what are you going to miss most about the show? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Hollywire TV for all things awkward. And like and favorite this video. For Hollywire.com, I'm Sierra McVeigh, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.